we want now we'll start off with the nail art start off by taking some red paint and then paint all of the tips of the fingers except for the ring finger with this red paint add a transparent layer onto the ring finger then add some gems onto it all throughout add some gems onto the other fingers as well and then make a bow like shape out of it as such arrange it as such add small little gold dots in order to make the ribbon underneath it after you are done with all of this add a transparent coat on top of it to make it look all the more glistening this will be the final look of our nails should you please you may also add some glitter to it Next, we'll start off by taking some transparent nail paint and then for the tip of it, dip it in some red paint. Afterwards, add some glitter paint to the middle finger as such. Then afterwards, tie it up and once it ties up, it should look extra glistening. Do the same for the little finger as well. It should look like this. Give it a metallic-like look. Afterwards, add a little more to the top of it as well. Next, take the red paint and then onto the middle finger. Add polka dots all throughout as such. Add it in a line so there is some sort of pattern to it. Do the same for the thumb finger and then moving on to the ring finger, add some glitter to it. Now add gems to it where you've added the glitter. Now do the same for the pointer finger as well. Add a gem to the little finger as well and then once you're done with this make sure that the glue stays and it sticks in place. Once you're done with all of this take some nail paint that is transparent nail paint and then add it on top of all of this and use this as the final coat. Now this should add as another layer to it and it should make it stay in its place and look all the more better and more well finished. This will be the final look of the nails. Now for our next nail do, we'll start off by taking some white nail paint, start with the ring finger and then fill in the tips of it using this. Now take some red nail paint and then some white, make a heart out of it in the pointer finger. Take some white nail paint next and then fill the tip of the thumb using this white nail paint. As you continue to do so, next take some red nail paint and then add some polka dots onto the ring and the thumb finger accordingly. You may also make them into little hearts. Now moving on to the pointer finger, outline it using some glitters. You may also add a gem to it should you please. Paint the entire little finger in white and then paint the entire middle finger in red. After this, add a transparent coat on top of all of this and then this will be the final look of it. Now for our next nail do, we'll start off by taking some brown paint and then paint the thumb, the middle finger fully with brown paint. Take some white paint, paint the ring finger with this, then take some more of the brown paint and then make this check design onto it as such. Add some glitter onto the little finger. Now add polka dots onto the nail that is the ring finger and then fill it in accordingly using these polka dots to spread it around as such. Afterwards, it should have these diamond like fillings. Afterwards, make this or rather make the borders more well defined by using gold for the borders as such. Once you're done with it, now add some brown onto the pointer finger ever so slightly spread it out and then add some glitter to it as well once you are done with all of this add a transparent coat on top of it all to finish it off with this will be the final look Next, we'll start off by taking some brown nail paint and then add this as a base coat for each of the fingers. Now, take some silver and then start off by making a V-shaped design onto the little finger. Make a cross or rather a Chex cross onto the ring finger. Moving on to the middle finger, once again, make this V-shaped design and fill in the tips using this. Now, make this cross onto the pointer finger as well and fill in the sides of this cross using the silver. Make a V-design onto the thumb finger as well and then fill in the tips according to this V-shaped design. Once you are done with all of this, use a transparent coat of it all to finish it off and make it look better. Thank you for watching.